Mm, nice track. I picked a really bad spot to not do this for six months or so. So I'm sorry about that. Um, should let you know some changes. I flipped Marl out um, and got her in the party because I'm going to need her against this Magus fight. Um, thank you for welcoming me. That's, that's very kind of you. So yeah, these things actually do damage to you if you if you get hit by them. We got ourselves a dark male here. But anyway, yeah, I was uh, sick. Uh, just no energy, no desire to do anything. You could probably hear it in some of the videos that I recorded back then. I, yep, there you go. Oh, that's going to do some serious damage to all three of us. I think it does like 20 hit points each, something like that. Let's see what's in here. Doom finger. Sorry, just had to do that. Um, so yeah, I get uh, I got really just no energy, probably a vitamin D deficiency if I had to guess. Not the first time. Hey, that didn't trigger a battle. Well, we'll just fight these guys here then. Oh, I see. They just drift in and okay, that works for me. I'm so oh damn it sick of fighting these guys anyway but yeah uh just a bad allergy spell worse than anything like in january in uh new max or i guess in this case it would have been february and you can hear it in certain videos that i was recording back at the time like i think i remember the fishing one just uh, about uh bassin's black bass with hank bass or hank <laughs> hank bass hank parker um who by the way hank parker sounds like he'd be neighbors with Dale Gribble and and uh, Boomhauer and all those guys down in <laughs> whatever Texas town. All right, let's see if I can do this without triggering anything. Come on. I think you go to the... Uh, I guessed wrong. I did not go far up enough. That's okay, because we can get some good experience and tech points here. But that was a bad spell. It was... It was I just had no energy to do anything, I just, but just to do the bare minimum and get by on my channel and stuff like that, and work is busy, uh, you know, I work uh, at an admissions office for a school uh, here, and that can be kind of hectic, uh, depending on the time of year it is. So it's, uh, those two are always going to be my priority, whereas stuff like uh, LPs, I don't feel like I'm very good at this sort of LP thing, since... I have to just come up with stuff to talk about. It's it gets kind of old, ta you know, tell talking about your experiences of the game and all that sort of stuff. Like it's just there's only so many things you can, so much information you can pull out of your ass, and so much uh, experience you can volunteer based on, you know, oh, I remember when I played this, and and then this happened, and burp, 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 burp. so I don't know. I just uh, this isn't my. Uh, priority so uh, you know if, if you I, it's very unusual that people are like yeah you gotta keep it going where where is the damn chrono trigger lp why aren't you gonna finish it come on and it's like why like really and i think it has to do with the game i think people just really like chrono trigger there we go god he keeps repeating the same lines ah there's more i thought i was getting close to the Oh, don't tell me I gotta fight that thing up there. God damn it. Those things are a pain. Oh, Ulysses hears me talking. And he's sauntering in here and laying down, making sure everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> right, booty? Poor pup. Anytime he hears me sound agitated, he gets very worried. Like he, he needs to try and prevent it or something. I don't know. But yeah, this, this thing, it's kind of clever but kind of telegraphed at the same time depending on how you want to how you perceive it those jugglers um uh kind of give you a preview to the magus battle that's coming up where you have to alternate between physical and magic and then alternate magics in the case of magus spoiler alert uh, yeah spoiler alert for something that's inevitably coming in a few minutes Hopefully a few minutes. I think it's still... I'm still, like, probably... I think I still have, like, 10 or 12 battles to go before I even get there. I remember there's, like, a big section where Ozzy is, like, 
uh, bringing up these dudes on chains and stuff, and it's like a, it looks like a Soundgarden video, the video for uh, Outshined or something with these. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I've I don't know what else to say about Chrono Trigger. You know, it's I'm not offering any new insight about. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I don't like facing those things because they just you hit them and they explode. So you just move out of the way and let them keep right on trucking. And then that's just one on one with this guy. And I'd much rather do that. But yeah, I've also been very busy with like other stuff. Like we're shopping for a new vehicle. Um, we're, uh, which does not, I'm very picky when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, whew. Uh, we're, my brother and his family visited for uh, like a week. So we were hanging out with them a lot. Um, it's also been, believe it or not, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, it's been very hot um, throughout June and July. Um, there was a two-week stretch in particular where it got over 100 every single day. That's not something I'm used to. It's not something that's fun. And it kind of saps your energy. So you got to learn to pick your spots and when to do stuff and how to just... You got to up your protein intake. <laughs> <laughs> basically stay hydrated and keep upgrade keep your protein uptake uh, so you don't you're not constantly hungry and you're not constantly wanting to gnaw on junk food that's probably my own personal thing and not relevant to anybody else but that's what helps me it helps me stay away from chips and crackers and stuff like that is just making sure I'm eating whether it's you know eggs in the morning and whatever it may be so that's just my personal thing, but just trying to stay healthy, j trying to keep the... Oh, hey, we've got the continued battle music. Show me the power, child, I'd like to see. I don't, I'm, I'm making it sound like Scott Stapp singing Soundgarden. That's, Get on down on my knees today. That's more of a Godsmack cover than... Oh, no, that's right. They can do this. Oh, that's not fun. Anyway, speaking of yeah, bands that go yeah, I like talking about music on these things because I don't really know what else to talk about. So I like to, it's interesting to um, talk about bands now um, and how they're perceived and how uh, history has kind of changed certain stuff or at least changed perceptions. Yeah, can I just do an ice sword to get rid of these guys? Or what should I do here? Am I just waiting? Let's just do lightning. That's easier. But Stone Temple Pilots is a great example of a band that when they came out, um, they were seen as a, like, oh, get a load of these guys, like, hopping onto the bandwagon. Um, that wasn't very smart. You never want a physical attack with Marley. Um, it was the the consensus was get a load of these wannabes that think they're Pearl Jam that think that that are hopping onto the bandwagon. And of course, it has nothing to do with the band itself. It's how they're. It's the producer making them sound a certain way. It's the music videos were a big deal back then. It's how their how their videos are shot. And um, but it w I will say that. I think Scott Weiland, while he's very good with melody and that he comes up with, you know, some sing-songy, some stuff that's, uh, you know, melodically interesting, at least I think. I'm going to save those until I beat all these guys. But, you know, I'm not I'm not ragging on Still Devil Pilots. I'm just letting you know that they were seen as a joke when they first showed up. And now, all of a sudden, they're almost universally declared quote unquote the legendary stone double pilots because i think they're coming here and that's a <laughs> the radio announcer the legendary stone temple pirate and it's like i'm sorry what <laughs> like when did that happen because in my experience they were never ever that that's for damn sure all right we want to use ice on that one it's tough to stay organized here so whose defense is on it can be kind of tricky okay that should take care of that guy and i think now both of their magic def no um the one on the left has physical defense on and the one on the right has magic defense on so 
We're gonna attack that dude over there. And we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna have to use water for frog and ice for Marley. But yeah, I, that really took me by surprise. Like, that's how Stone Temple Pilots have... They, they just kind of survived through over the years and they kept cranking out albums. They kept touring. They just kept doing their thing. And he's run out of enemies. He's run out of lines, too. He's repeated the same thing three times. And he's repeated that three times. <laughs> See ya. What do we got here? A speed belt. I think I will give that to Chrono so his turn will come up more often. Yep. Get your speed up to 14. That'll work. Don't really need a much of a power glove with somebody like him. I mean, if you want to do X Strike with him and Frog, that's uh, still going to do a substantial amount of damage regardless of any accessory, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, I just, I just hold the A button down when I'm facing these guys. These battles get a little... But yeah, the, the Magus's castle is no joke. This just keeps going and going and going. You, I think it's a hundred different battles. It says a hundred enemies, but I think it's a hundred battles. Ugh. I mean, it's just these guys again. Ugh. Let's take out those guys first. I just remember Stone Temple Pilots, I saw some like MTV special on them way back in the day. I think it would have been after Purple, the album Purple came out, and the single Big Bang Baby um, for that next album was out, and they were, MTV was running these, uh, uh, you know, just like talking to the band and talking about the band's history, <laughs> the guitar. I like their guitarist and I like their bass player, both because I think they're good and um, they're, they're, they seem like funny guys. <laughs> and they we're talking about like why their band name is what it is and he goes um what about they and they're just they saw the STP logo which is i guess like a, i don't i'm super i don't know what that actually means like STP like st is it uh like an oil or something like that like a motor oil i can't remember but the guitarist was talking and he's and he's he's from California i think so he's got this he's got this kind of like California accent you know so he just kind of talks like this. And he's like, you know, at first our band was called, we wanted to do something with the word, the letter Stereo Temple Pirates. Or uh, we wanted STP, and so we came up with Stereo Temple Pirates. <laughs> that still makes me laugh when I think of it. Stereo Temple Pirates. And then the record exec was like, I don't know about the pirates. And then it was just a Stone Temple Pilots. It was just like, no, nah, actually, I think I prefer Stereo Temple Pirates. I think that's that's more memorable. I like pirates. Oh. Wooly heard something and he's going crazy. Barking. Oh, Clyde heard it now. Hey, what are you guys doing? Anyway. I don't even know if the mic is picking that up. So yeah, it's uh, I do intend on finishing this for sure. Uh, just to let you know, um, I I would like to actually see this one through. I think you can count on one hand the number of games I've actually finished when I do these LPs. <sighs> All right. Shan't be defeated. And it's boss time with me versus Ozzy encasing himself into a block of ice. Notice the very conspicuous... Uh... <laughs> huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, that did that. Yeah. It was nice of the game to give you kind of a break between uh, all that grinding, all those battles, making your way up the castle. This is good, in my opinion, good directing here, a good uh, flow, a bit of uh, comedic relief here, encasing himself into ice like a cl <laughs> Like what? <laughs> Yet he can still talk somehow. Um, and you know what's coming. 
Mwee-hee-hee? What kind of laugh is that? <laughs> Goodbye. Ouch. Yeah, it was. Thank you, game. Mr. Robe. All right, we can give that to uh, Marl and a magic scarf. Um, do we want to give both of those to her? Oh, she already has one. Uh, huh. Yeah, that's better than a ribbon. Not that I... I've used Luca a bit on this uh, LP. I don't usually... I usually stick with... Oh, that's a legit save state. So, yeah, let's use the item that's too good to use, the shelter. Let's actually make use of that. Anyway, yeah, I was blathering about stone double pilots and all that sort of stuff, and they're seen as this. Uh, this is a nice, another nice moment here where you've got, you know, they slow down and <laughs> just surrounded by bats. That's cool. Sorry about that. Whoop. We want to walk. It's Chris Jericho. No, actually, it's it's Magus. Pretty sweet entrance. Uh, Magus. Uh, hello. Oh, I'm supposed to go talk to him. <laughs> I thought he had more lines. You ran out of lines. God, he has that badass entrance, and then he comes back with that. Here we go. <laughs> yep. I'm in the minority, but I'm not crazy about uh, Magus as a character. I like the aspect of the time travel stuff that... Uh, comes about later that he's a large part of. There we go. The fight against Magus. The game has been leading up to this at this point. And yes, you want to use Frog's attack, regular old physical attack, because it brings down Magus's, uh, I guess his MP. And you want to uh, use haste, so everybody gets faster turns. And if you get faster turns, you can do more stuff. Makes sense, right? Let's just keep doing haste on everybody. Uh, what should I do with these two? He hasn't given a weakness away yet, so let's just keep regular attacks with frog for now. Only water damages. Okay, not much I can do with uh, chrono by himself, but I can land an ice sword, which would be very handy. There we go. Oh, that'll forfeit a turn to get haste onto drunk. That's fine. Because that's my favorite attack in the game until we get Ice Sword 2, which is even better. And then there's other stuff like Cube Toss. and Those, those are fun, too. Big fan. All right, I think I need to heal here. Yeah, magic defense. Let's uh, get an Aura Whirl on us. Do I not have any revives? I have two, I have, how many revives? Two? Uh oh. Um, yeah, we wanna do haste on Chrono. It's the only one missing. Anyway, back to music. 90s music, of course, is probably my specialty for better or for worse. Um, yeah, we're gonna wanna do all right heal here because just to stay above 300 as best you can and then just get wait for Magus to give you only shadow gee thanks that's real helpful yeesh but yeah there 
Um, so yeah, everybody when when '90s rock music gets brought up, um, everybody always blathers about Ooh, lightning damages. That's something I can use. Everybody always references, oh yeah, the Seattle bands with uh, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Melvins, Mud Honey, Screaming Trees, Mark, uh, what, whatever his name is, Mark Langdon or something like that. Lanigan, Mark Lanigan, that guy, uh, all that stuff. So it's uh, 301 isn't bad from a not that great magic user. But after that, when it comes to 90s rock, then here came bands in the mid-90s like Weezer and Green Day, and they were much more pop-oriented, much more melodic, but what was weird about them is that uh, they had this guitar tone. My friend Gretchen brought this up a long time ago. I, I never really, it never really caught on to me until she said that. it's They have this like death metal, like super heavy like guitar tone, and... My name is Jonas. Like, <laughs> like it's just ridiculous sounding, kind of. And it never. It's, I think that's why I never really got into those bands, is because of that whole dichotomy there between the sing-songy, melodic vocals and this just like. I mean, it's it's like one step away from deicide, like guitar tone. It's just absurd sounding to me. So. Not really a fan of those bands. Of uh, Green Day, especially has a has a really surprisingly heavy guitar tone, and it just doesn't like jibe well with my tastes. I guess I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. Um, like three minute songs with <laughs> like this super heavy like low end, and it's like I don't think that that just doesn't work for me. So. I always thought that was kind of interesting, though. That became... The mid-90s really kind of opened up with that sort of stuff. And then um, then came the crap. Then came, like, Everclear and Fuel and Tonic. And if you could only... And it only got worse from there. Then we, then we got Creed. Then we've got uh, Nickelback. And it's like, dear God... It's like the late 70s and early 80s repeating themselves. It's like REO Speedwagon is back. It's like, come on, man. It's just awful. So, it's like, it, when people never learn. Like, let's do REO Speed. Let's do Sticks again. Well, at least Sticks had, like, a couple redeeming qualities. Some, a couple interesting songs. Let's do that crap again. Let's do Journey again. It's like, most recently I've gotten into this band Ghost a little bit, um, and when I first heard them, I was like, you know, it's, it's in my opinion, it's just kind of overly derivative, where it's like, yeah, I get it, you really like, um, god, I'm gonna need to get an ether here for drunk. It's like, okay, I get it, you like Ozzy, you like mid-80s metal, you like, uh, what's his name, King Diamond, you're, you're crazy. The guy just doesn't, ha doesn't have the voice, in my opinion, to pull that off. Oh shit, haste is worn off. I gotta get that on here. Uh oh. Okay, so I've reached the point where Magus starts doing uh, what do you call it? Starts busting out all the all the uh, crazy shit. The dark matter spell is coming. Oh, and now we're doing some real damage with X Strike. Although I think, um, yeah, no, we we need to capitalize on this and really just keep doing X Strike. I think, right? Yeah. But yeah, no, th when I f heard the first Ghost album, I was like, this is too derivative. It's it's not, there's nothing new here. Not enough. And the, plus the guy's voice was so ordinary and nasally. Uh-oh. I am not ready for this. I need, I wanted to do an Aura World. This is going to kill Marley if I had to guess. Shit, and I need ethers for everybody too. Okay, this, this just got real. Oh no, now Drunk's dead. Shit. Oh, I got five revives. I'm fine. I hope. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, let's revive everybody and then let's cure. Yeah, Marl is the most important because then we can put haste back on her. Okay, so we're doing we're in damage control here. We need to uh, get some big time ethers for everybody. We need to run. 
Yep, we need to run cures. We need haste. We, we can't just do aura worlds. We need cures and haste. That's why Marl is so important. Marley. I keep going back and forth between Marl and Marley. I'm sure some of you are being driven insane by that. Uh, yep, we need more. Oh, shit. And now, uh... Now Frog... It's Frog's turn to die. And now we have two revives left. At least I was a little better prepared for that. Anyway, I, th I the point is that Ghost Talk is that I kind of like them, their latest album now. And it, because at first, when I heard the singles, uh, Rats and I think uh, Faith is a single, I was like, God, this sounds like Journey. Because it's like so like, la, 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 la. And you see the video and they're dancing and all this. And it's like, oh, it's, it's kind of meant to be a little absurd. And um, it's, but the, thi the thing is, is that it's a lot less derivative. And it sounds more like a, a, an original band now. It doesn't sound as... Like, that was my problem with the b bands like TV on the radio, too. Um, it's like, okay, you like Peter Gabriel. I get it. <laughs> like, it's, it's too much. Stop with that. All right, everybody's been cured. We're all... And we're just hitting them with X strikes. We're all cool with everything in the Chrono Trigger world right now. We're good on MP... We just do haste now. I remember seeing that for the first time as a kid. Just being like, wow, the Super Nintendo is graphics. It's so awesome. But um, yeah, I like the new Ghost album. I think I think it's pretty good. I think it's interest I think it I think it's a lot more interesting than their previous stuff, but that's my I'm probably alone in thinking that. Yeah, let's just do a couple uh a couple of that, and then we'll do a few mid ethers. Wait a second, did I just do drunk twice? Shit. Oh, oh never mind. Okay. Phew. Okay, so he still needs to be. Yeah, let's just do X Strike and. So, yeah, it was a. Uh, uh, God, I gotta be getting close here with Magus. I think he has over 6,000 MP. And I've been hitting him at 450. Uh, let's do an Ice Sword. See if that... What kind of damage that does at this point. 640, that works. Let's just keep doing that then. I'm sure there's more... Oh, shit. Okay. Good thing I waited. All right. I think I'll just hang out here for a bit. We're get, we got to be getting close to the end. Oh shit, she needs her haste already wore off. That's crazy. Okay, I was just sitting there with, with I'm sorry, with fish, not frog. There we go. I just love that sound that makes. Yeah, 460 a pop with that. Yeah, it's definitely possible to have some, like, very serious trouble against Magus if you're not, uh, leveled up enough. Uh, it can be a very problematic, uh... Yeah, let's do Ice Sword. This, this should finish him off if I had to guess. Just a feeling. There it is! Alright! Magus, you did! Well, not really, but... Magus, you defeated... <laughs> Oh no, what have we done? Uh, we fixed it. Hey, wait a second, wake up. Oh, nice pose, Chrono. What is that? Oh. Yeah, we messed everything up. Sorry, buddy. What is happening? Oh, those brownies are kicking in. Oh, shit. The fuck? 
fuck? Well. And you die. Hey, wait a second. That sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. Oh, the game is starting over. <laughs> Chill out. What work? Sure we can. I thought I was going to work. Huh. Yeah. Drug 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 Hey, what are we doing here? Yep. Hung the fuck over. Man, we must have had some party at Magus's castle. <laughs> I like that. He is more tasty, I'm willing to bet. He's a bit skinny though, so might not be much meat on the bone. Happy music. Alright, well what the hell are we doing in the back in the sixty five million BC? That's kinda goofy. Mm-hmm. Northwood burning. That sounds like a midnight oil song or something. Aren't there like tabs and stuff up here? Am I just misremembering? Huh? Whatever. All right, let's, uh, is this what they mean by, no, probably not. Yeah, we gotta get the, uh, we gotta get the sword at some point that's uh, f for for trade here. Okay, okay. Go to your stupid Northwood. You know what? Actually, I think I would rather sh take a look at the hunting range here. Or what's this again? This is, yeah, that's where you go after everything. All that's done. Let's check out the hunting range real quick. And when you beat these guys, you get all sorts of, like, trading items and stuff. And you get some different battle music to give you a hint of how not serious and un unessential this part is. <laughs> it's just to grind and get items, basically. Like, what do you get? Like... Yeah, not even 200. No tech points at all. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let's see what else we get. We get two of each of the random, at least two, of each of the random uh, four items that you can get for trade, which is... Which is handy, you don't have to keep going back over and over to all that stuff in, uh, you know, in actual difficult dungeons. So, that's a nice touch. Just nice to wander around here, it's a new area, not, not really used to it. Might as well kill some time, right? That's what LPs are for, both for me and for you. And why else would you be watching this? Well, what else can I talk about? There's, uh, I've talked about... My three favorite bands, Stone Temple Pilots, Weezer, and Green Day. <laughs> no, I do actually kind of like Stone Temple Pilots. I'm not that crazy about their first album. But uh, the the one after that, Purple, is very good. Oh, and when it rains in the hunting area, then you could, can fight a new... Where is he? He should pop up somewhere, and you have to like catch him, run into him, and then you fight him. He's really tough. And then he gives you, I forget what he gives you, like a, a certain item or like magic tabs or something like that. Can't really remember, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, 
that's a nice little uh, bonus thing about this area too, is that there's lots of extra stuff you can do. Not just uh, mindlessly grinding for these items. Oops, having trouble with the sound here. Yeah, I think horns and oh, I forget what the other one is are, are what you need for. Eh, let's just. Guess we should go see what all the hubbub is about here. Wow, look at all the smoke. Snoop Dogg stopped by or something? Ha! <laughs> We got the 23,000 AD music here. 2300 AD, I mean. <laughs> These guys are made to sound like... Uh, <laughs> if you read what they say in dog voice, because they don't use words like the... I say fight together. Or I don't know. That's just me being stupid. <laughs> Uh, can make big talk? Willie, can you make big talk? You can howl. The big howling dog. Alright. Dactyl's nest. Pick up some dactyls. Hey, buddy. Okay. Uh, is there anything else to do here? Is that... Is that it? <laughs> Can I leave up here? No. <laughs> Alright. Uh, alright. Let's get out of here. And, uh, I can't remember. It's been too long since I've... I was last here where the, uh, trader guy is... Trader Joe's. Uh, I don't think you are it. Nope. Uh, no. It's the one in the upper right, isn't it? I, I knew it. Yeah, I'm stupid. It's, uh, I think it's Petal and Horn gets me this sword. If I remember correctly. Um, how do I, 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 I need to check though. I just want to back out of this. Can I not back out of this? No, I don't. Well, whatever. Let's just see what each of these are. Who cares? Yeah, that'll help us. Just do whatever. We can always go back and get the get more stuff later. Let's just do horn and feather. It's more fun this way. <laughs> It's just me being lazy. All right, Rock Helm, that's cool. Um, is there are there two more I can do? We can do Fang and Feather. I think it is Fang and Horn. Yeah, Ruby Vest. It's, yeah. Can I do any more? I don't think so. I already did Petal and Feather. I don't think there's a way to back out of this until you say no. Oh, I hadn't done that one. Okay. All right, let's equip all this crap. Yeah, screw the sword. We'll get it some other time. People are screaming at me from cut fire by fifty, but it doesn't really give me anything else. I use that later, or maybe I can just give it to what's his nuts, uh, or what's his bolts, I should say. Hans. I have no idea why I named him Hans. I don't remember doing that, but that's okay. Let's give him the uh, ruby vest for, for fun. I'll probably use a different party for the next dungeon. Can I buy... No, you don't have any revives, but I do need mid tonics. I realized I did not have any mid tonics. I'm just going to get like 30 of them. <laughs> but you don't have any revives. I need revives. Oh, here we go. Yep, got those. 
Aeon Blade, it's the one thing I didn't get. It's because I didn't have enough fangs. Yeah, it's fang and horn, okay. Yeah. Rare monster appear, right? Okay. Um, we'll do that some other time. I guess we should go to the the dactyl nest and pick us up some dactyls. Whew. So yeah, um, life has been pretty weird lately. Let's switch our party up because um, now we're not obligated to have fish in our party. So let's give these guys some tech points and some playing some PT. Um, yeah, I'm taking a class this summer. It's just sociology 101, basically. Um, and, uh, and I hope to get a, eventually just take some English classes, get better at writing, um, that sort of thing. That would be, uh, useful, I hope. And there's also, um, so it's, it's an online class, so thankfully I don't have to be anywhere. But that's been going on this summer. That's just kind of a once a week thing, but... It, a lot of re online classes are always a lot of write a lot of reading and a lot of writing. It's a 101 class, so it's pretty easy, but um, it's uh, still t kind of time consuming. There's that. There's like God. My brother was here for a while. We were hanging out, going out to eat. That's like the one thing I do. I don't. I'm not a people person at all. I don't socialize with people. It's just because I'm not very good at talking to people per se but it's let's do uh let's see if this wipes them both out oh come on but yeah i hope uh it does not okay so it's just a waste of mp basically we might as well just do what we do against any other enemy when we face those guys Right, you gotta fight your way up to the dactyl nest. It's gonna be a while still. Those apes and the, these volcanic guys. I think they're, they're the volcano guys. Hey, there's a mid tonic for once in my life. So I'll probably just uh, play until we get to the next dungeon entrance, I'm guessing. It should probably be about a few minutes from now. Depending on these battles go. Yeah, she has a an actual useful weapon now instead of that other piece of crap she was using. But um, yeah, taking a class, tr uh, trying to uh, lose weight, <laughs> trying to walk more, which is not fun in July in New Mexico and anywhere in the Southwest. Um, trying to, d you know, I know my name is drunk, but I really don't drink all that much. It's usually just on weekends, just to you know, kind of relax and take the edge off and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm trying to even, like, t cut back on that. Uh, just, just because. Um, I want to see if I can get my w weight down a bit, get my metabolism up so I can start feeling more energetic during the day. Um, because, you know, that can't hurt, right? Might as well try some, uh, text here that I, I don't think I've shown off on this LP at all. He's kind of he used to, oh that was really useful. Thanks Robo. I used to call it the disco spin. Robo becomes a one man one robot discotheque at a certain point. Yeah I'm try, trying to get these guys to learn some freaking uh, let's try, the, try some of these. Learn some tech points so we can get Unlock some more dual techs. There we go. That's useful. I hope. No, it's not. Alright, that's fine. Basically showing all this crap off at this point. Including their attacks. <laughs> God, freaking die. God, drunk's gonna fucking die. This is ridiculous. Oh, he is dead. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Come on already. Like, alright, time to stop screwing around and just fucking take these guys out for once. At least Hans is very strong. His physical attack is crazy good. Jesus, he's to 100 now. There we go. Good shot. 
All right, let's fix all that I screwed up in that last battle. Yeesh, that was... Do some couple cure beans. Give him another one. Yeah, what the hell, let's give Luca one. Uh, oh. gotta admit I don't remember this game being as grind heavy um, now that I'm being forced to talk along with it and come up with stuff to say when I'm just playing this I'm not thinking about this sort of stuff because uh, I don't have to talk about it I'm not gonna sit there and talk to myself while I'm playing this uh, yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna want to take out the, the cave ape first and take out these schists <laughs> later <laughs> why are they called schists Ridiculous. Shits. Shists. Like cyst, but with an SH? What? Uh. Yeah, and if I if I'm able to eat better and all that sort of cliched stuff and exercise and have more energy and sleep better. Hey, missile mail, that's worth it's worth something. Yeah, buddy. Probably want to give it no. Wow, that's actually a downgrade for her. Let's give it to Frog for fun, just in case I feel like putting him back in my party again for whatever reason. God damn it! All right, let's not screw around. Let's just on second hand. Let's screw around. <laughs> Like, that kind of did, did do a lot of damage, so might as well. Alright. Moving on, hopefully. What's going on here? She's making grandiose gestures at the horizon. Alright, that must be our ride. Is there anything else around here? Is there any magic tabs hidden anywhere? Any power tabs? I'm not seeing anything. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Yeah, plus Luca in your party, she's got better dialogue, mostly, than Marley uh, would. And I like her gestures. <laughs> We're all going to the Tyranno Lair. Hey, there's only three dactyls, and one of them's got to carry a 4,000 ton robot. All right, how are we going to handle this? Are we just going to go with Luca? Are we going to go with Robo? For the boss fights, I'm going to need Marl. Marley. Marla. Marl. Ma Ma Just call her M. Shouldn't have named her that. I should have changed her name to something I can actually... I can confidently pronounce. Hey, there's a conspicuous red dot up there. I wonder what that could be. You know, since the game is centered around Lavos. Mm. Boy, plenty of parking. Uh, let's hang out out here. You know, because we, we, we want to, you know, leave. You can't go up that way? Are you kidding? <laughs> I was freaking out. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll park down. Oh, wait. You can't do that. You have to park up here. Ugh. All right. Okay. We're going to call it quits for now. Um, hey, I hope this was uh, sufficient to tide whoever is interested in this sort of stuff over uh, whoa I don't want to fight these guys yet but yeah I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day cheers